in Hawaii and in this particular video I'm going to discuss two very very important aspects of surfboard measurement. These two uh, measurements are indeed the nose and tail measurement and these are two measurements that are greatly overlooked in today's surfboard industry. Usually the manufacturer of the surfboard puts three dimensions on the board. It'll be on the stringer, usually towards the tail, and it's either on the bottom of the board or on the deck of the board. And these measurements are the length, the width of the center of the board, and the thickness of the center of the board. Now two measurements that I'm going to discuss today are the nose and tail measurements. And the nose and tail measurements are attained by just using a tape measure and maybe a pencil. Also, you may need some tape in case you have a inverted tail, such as a swallow tail or a moon tail. And here are the tools, and this is the board I'll be measuring. But before we do this, and I, before I show you how to attain these measurements, I'm going to show you an example of a wider nose and a narrower nose. There are two almost identical boards. They're both 5'8 by 19, and they both have 15-inch tails, but there's one difference. And that difference is the board on the left has a 12 inch nose and the board on the right has a 13 inch nose. The board on the right is going to have a considerably more volume than the board on the left. And if you happen to buy one of these boards and not know these measurements, you could either be getting way too much foam or way too little foam. And that's why we're going to learn to measure the nose and tail today. So with all that, let's get started. Basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a tape measure, it's very easy. We're going to go from the tip of the nose, we're going to go up one foot. We're going to take our pencil and mark, and then we simply measure across at one foot. Same thing applies for the tail. We're going to go up one foot, and I've taped off the tail here because I do have an inverted tail as you can see. This is a moon tail. So I've simply just taped off the tail block, gone up one foot with my pencil, taken a mark, and my pencil's gonna fly off the board, and I go across, that's a 15 and a half inch tail. So this is very easy to do, but it's, yet it's very effective. And here's one example. Say you're riding a board that has a 14 and a half inch tail, and then you happen to purchase a board that happens to have a 15 inch tail. You're going to be thrown for a loop and you're going to get a great shock when you ride that board. And you may go, this board doesn't work, this board's not right, something's wrong. Well, it's because maybe your tail's wider or narrower than you're used to. So if you take the measurements and know the measurements of the board that you're riding already, and then you take them in to your next purchase, you'll be a lot uh, more targeted on what you want. And for $700, $600 a pop, ouch, that hurts if you pick the wrong board. So, uh, I want to reiterate that in the 80s, we all had our respective shapers. And the nose and tail measurements, we all used to know inherently. And in the 90s, the boards got a little bit more mass produced and uh, the measurements were more standardized. But in today's surfing industry, all those 80s boards are coming back. So. All of these different dimensions and noses uh, can be very deceiving, and so if you know the dimensions that you're already writing, uh, you can make a better purchasing decision. And in the next video, I'm going to tell you how to transpose volume. And I'm like one little statement about leaders. Uh, leaders can be useful uh, as far as uh, attaining foam under your feet, but say you have the same amount of leaders in one board, and one board has a 13 inch tail, and one board has a 15 inch tail. Well, tail width, right where you ride where the fins are, can make a huge difference. So it doesn't matter as much about leaders. If you know these three uh, outline measurements of your surfboard, and once again, the outline is the silhouette of the board up against the wall for you beginners, uh, and it's also known as the plan shape or the template, uh, if you know these three measurements, you're going to be way more uh, apt to choose the right equipment uh, other, other than not. So once again, this has been Lala Boards. I'm here at the factory in Hawaii. If you found this video to be useful, helpful, entertaining, what have you, give me a thumbs up. And I will see you in the next video when I go into greater depth about volume. Bye for now.